joins us right now. It wasn't a bad day today, but yeah. you say looking ahead, deja vu. Oh, yeah. So we got a case of Groundhog Day happening here. As we we're going to have ahead. that same weather over uh -huh, and over. Uh huh. Bill Murray here. Yeah, let's go ahead and talk <laughs> about it. So deja vu when it comes to temperatures, and you really have to to keep in mind where we've been over the past few days. So the last five days, kind of all over the place. This past weekend, the yeah. 60s. We had 82 on Monday. We were in the upper 60s. Tuesday and then yesterday we were in the 60s in the morning, but most of the afternoon was in the 50s. So it's been fluctuating just up and down. Take a look at what's ahead for us: 69, 70, 68, 70, and 70. So we are looking at some really, really mild temperatures and some really stagnant weather headed our way as we wrap up this work week, head into the first couple of days of May, and of course head into the weekend. Now, what about the rain? We did have a few showers move through uh, over the evening hours tonight. Still a few showers well north of us, but all of that's fizzling out. The next storm system right back here, and this one is going to miss us to the north. So as far as the rain goes for the next few days, we're not going to see any of that for a while. So we're looking really dry as we head through the next few days, too. Out there right now, temperatures are in the 50s, and they'll continue to cool off back down into the 40s tonight. We're in the 40s and low 50s along the coast. You get east of the Cascades already in the 30s, down toward Bend and Redmond, and you'll be waking up to temperatures around freezing, if not a little bit below. Here's how it plays out tomorrow morning. We'll start off with temperatures in the 40s, so it's going to be one of those days where you're going to want to grab the layers. 30 at government camp. Uh, skies mostly cloudy and a lot of spots in the valley. We'll have a little bit of fog to deal with, but some areas will already have clear skies to start the day. And then as we go into the afternoon, everyone clears those clouds out and we're looking at temperatures by noon in the upper 50s around 60 for government camp mid to upper 50s for coastal areas so we have a really beautiful day ahead in fact a lot more sunshine compared to what we even saw today upper 60s for highs tomorrow so we get a nice little bump in temperatures and again once we hit that for a high that's where we're going to be each afternoon for a while we head into friday we start back off in the 40s so again layers in the morning and then you're shedding that for the afternoon with highs around 70 degrees for your Friday afternoon with a mix of sun and clouds. There is that system that passes us by to the north, so it may throw a few clouds our way. That's going to be about the extent of it. The weekend is looking gorgeous. Coastal forecast for you. Fog in the morning, partly sunny for the afternoon, low 60s for you. I-5 in the low 70s, clouds to start and then sunshine to finish. Central and eastern Oregon, temperatures in the upper 60s to low 70s. It was a lot cooler today behind the front, but we're warming things up again tomorrow. Cascades, mostly sunny. And through the gorge, a light breeze, mostly sunny and back to the low to mid 70s. West side, temperatures in the low 70s. For the metro area, east side, temperatures in the low 70s. Winds coming in from the northwest at about 5 to 10, and again up north too. We're talking highs near 70 degrees, and that's going to be the trend here going into the weekend. Um, a lot of sunshine. It'll be beautiful. It'll be comfortable. Our next chance for rain doesn't move back in until Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> you know, I can't remember a day. So you're talking about almost five days in a row coming up mm -hmm. where we're going to be almost exactly the same, same temperature thing. every day. <laughs> every single day. I haven't seen that in quite a while. It has been a while. We had a stretch earlier, but even then they were still fluctuating yeah. quite a bit. We were above 70. But it would go 70, then 80, yeah. then back to the mid 70. This is just kind of a flat line. Even, even Steven. It's going to be perfect, though, right? <laughs> yeah. 70? That's great. Well, still ahead.